Hey everybody, it's Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Wanted to do a quick update on the forecast tonight and talk a little bit about our aurora potential tonight, which is kind of looking like a bust, honestly, right now. Um, I actually think our best chances are probably going to shift to tomorrow. These are really finicky with these kind of space forecasts, which I'll talk more about in a minute. But temperature-wise, it's not as cold tonight as the last couple of nights. So you can see temperatures are already down into the 40s um, and 30s in some locations. We're certainly going to be chilly tonight, just not as cold as the last couple of nights. A couple of things to notice tonight, um, we don't have as many high clouds, which is good. So we've got good clear skies out there. So if we were going to see the aurora uh, borealis tonight, um, tonight would have been a great night. But un <clears throat> unfortunately... It doesn't look like they're really showing up out there. We still got high pressure over the region, but what's interesting about this high pressure system is that it's kind of shifting off in this direction. So we're starting to see just a subtle hint of a southwesterly wind, which is going to start warming us up. So temperatures will not be nearly as cold as they were the last couple of nights. Certainly looks pretty chilly. I mean, we're going to be down around the low 30s. I certainly expect to see some frost in the morning, but none of those low and mid 20s. So you probably have heard me post about this or saw me or even uh, other people. Um, we've got a geomagnetic storm going on right now and the good news with this this is not a a bad situation if we were in a g4 or higher um, we would have some maybe some issues with some power outages uh, maybe uh, power grid issues and uh, typically communication GPS issues. But um, a, a geomagnetic storm of G3 is pretty strong. Uh, sometimes you can get some satellite and GPS disruption, but occasionally you get to see the northern lights a little bit farther south than normal and sometimes even down into the Carolinas. So the initial forecast for tonight was showing the possibility of seeing um, maybe down to parts of North Carolina. Now, trust me, if you wanted to see this, you would have to get to the darkest possible location away from the city lights, have a great view of the northern horizon, and your eyes completely adjusted. Even with your naked eye, it would be hard to see. I find it's much easier to have a camera and do a long exposure. That's how most people end up seeing this. Now, it has happened before. Um, it hasn't happened in a while because the sun has been pretty quiet. We haven't had a lot of solar flare activity. The last time that this happened that was really kind of memorable was about 10 years ago, 2010. Um, and we had pictures from Albemarle, from the coast, from the mountains. And then probably the strongest event I remember was just after I got to Charlotte, 2003 and 2004, two events where people saw them all the way down to the coast. Um, and it was amazing. But remember back then, nobody was on social media. So <laughs> there was very few people to kind of remember that or share or spread. So people would email me the pictures um, and that's how you would notice what was going on. So let me show you real quickly. Um, the forecast. So this is from the Space Prediction Center. Yes, there is a Space Prediction Center. It's actually run through NOAA. Um, and if you look here, I'm going to I'm going to actually add um, a widget here so you guys can see. All right, I'm going to make this. I'm going to use blue so it's easier to see. So right here, if you look carefully, tomorrow night, the 10th. Um, and this is in UTC, so it's about um, 1 o'clock in the afternoon to about 7 p.m. We should be G1, 2, and 3. And the 7 there, the KP index, 7 is what we're looking for or higher. It's a 7 tomorrow right around sunset. So that would be the potential for the highest availability of seeing the aurora. And just to show you what these forecasts look like, uh, this is a pretty cool site. You can see how it actually will show you what this incoming the CME we call it or, or basically a solar flare looks like um, when it was ejected from the sun and heads right towards the Earth's ionosphere and magnetic field and causes um, this basically cool discharge in the atmosphere that we end up seeing called the aurora and again this was the aurora forecast for yesterday through tonight and I'll show you see the aurora was well north of the border um, you could see it coming down to the border now this was today daylight hour it's going to stop at a current time so this is why these aurora forecasts notice the lead time up at the top is only about 60 to 70 minutes so you don't get a lot of time that you know when these are showing up you just know there's kind of a chance so i'm going to stop this tonight um once it gets right here we'll stop it so this is right now whoops let me go back i kept playing we're going to stop it right now so the aurora currently is visible up here in Canada. So you're underneath it, you can see it, but typically you can see it just to the south. So I wouldn't be surprised if some folks in the Great Lakes or even uh, the Northeast are seeing it because they would see this on the horizon from locations down 
in here. We would want this to be down to about right there, and that means people down here closer to us would get a chance to see it. So that's just kind of, you know, for, for everybody who's interested in the auroras, that's kind of what the setup is. So I think tomorrow will actually end up being a better night to end up seeing them. I think this will be our potential uh, for tomorrow night. So let's talk about the weather. Are we going to have clear skies tomorrow if we're going to have this potential? Well, high pressure slides off to the south and east, and so let's look at tomorrow night. I'm going to stop this right around uh, 6 p.m. This is a good sign. We actually should have clear skies. So um, if you're in a, in a very dark, l low light pollution area, look north tomorrow night. There might be the potential to see the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> That would be awesome. Quick look at your seven day and then 10 day forecast. I'll pop this up here and remove my head so you can take a look at it. We will see that warming trend going into the weekend and then we're gonna see a cooling trend next week. Uh, there's been a lot of social media hubbub about winter weather next week. The, right now there is no chance of winter weather outside of the mountains. We will probably see some snow on Monday and probably again on Wednesday and maybe again Friday into next weekend. But right now, it just looks too warm for any snow east of the mountains. But again, you're talking nine to 10 days out, but at least in the next seven to 10 days, there's really no sign of winter weather in our forecast. Have a great night, everybody.